Hi, I am Fighter for JC, and you are watching my review for Godzilla for the PlayStation 4. Godzilla for the PlayStation 4 is the first Godzilla game to hit consoles in North America in over a decade. The last one being Godzilla Save the Earth for the original Xbox and PS2. Like its predecessors, Godzilla is a 3D fighting game based on the monsters from the films. Unlike its predecessors, which were much more arcadey, this game aims to be the ultimate Godzilla simulator and succeeds quite well. It is for this very reason that reviews have not been kind to Godzilla. Like their movie counterparts, Godzilla and the rest of the gang are lumbering giants that control like tanks. If you are looking for a fluid Tekken-like experience, you will be disappointed. If you are looking for a deep narrative, then you best look someplace else. However, if you consider yourself a true Godzilla fan, then you are in for a treat. This is hands down the most accurate representation of Godzilla ever seen in a video game. He is the main focus, and you get to do pretty much everything he does in the films. You will invade cities, wreck buildings, squash the military, and duke it out with other kaiju. The game faithfully captures the essence of the films, from how the monsters move to the way the buildings explode and crumble. That means the monsters move like actors in rubber suits while the destructible environments topple like the miniature sets from the films. If authenticity is what you're looking for, then this is undoubtedly the best Godzilla game there is, and you would absolutely love it. Those who are not fans of the Toho films need not apply. You simply won't get it, and you will probably hate it. This is a great game if you love Godzilla. I would even say that it's the perfect Godzilla game. If there's one legitimate complaint I could think of, is that Godzilla doesn't seem to be as big as he ought to be. The biggest thing Godzilla's got going is his size, and the game fails to convey this at times. I realize that Godzilla's official height varies depending on the movie, but he's never been shorter than 150 feet. In the game, there are times in which Godzilla doesn't appear to be much taller than 75 feet. I believe the reason for this is that some buildings aren't scaled properly, making Godzilla look smaller. The other complaint I have is the use of bright orange lines to mark the edge of the arenas. They should have left the invisible walls invisible. These things, however, are all very minor complaints. Godzilla is a great time. You are essentially directing your very own Godzilla film. It's not a particularly difficult game, although you do run into some challenging enemies every once in a while. It's not exactly a technical brawler, but this isn't a simple button masher either. You have to use strategy and varying tactics, depending on who you are fighting and what Godzilla's objectives are. As for replay value, the game has plenty. The main mode is called God of Destruction, in which Godzilla invades different cities to destroy generators and face off against different enemies. 
the monsters that you get to fight are somewhat randomized in each playthrough, which typically take about a couple of hours. God of Destruction mode is also the best plan to gain the currency and experience points necessary to unlock other monsters and upgrade your arsenal. There are other modes that are more or less variations of God of Destruction, then there is multiplayer. But for some inexplicable reason, it is only available online, which is a shame, as this game would have been the perfect couch multiplayer where you could just mess around with your buddies and have fun. With all this said, Godzilla is at its best as a single player affair where you get to just sit back and enjoy the spectacle of giant monsters pummeling each other for no good reason. That's what fans love about the films and if you are in that same boat you cannot go wrong with Godzilla for the P. S. Four.